Hello there, and welcome to Sharky's Midnight Mania. Today marks the day of the cinematic classic Toy Story's 20th anniversary. Now this is for the parents here. I want you to think about this. 20 years ago, you took your child to go see this movie. You saw them jump into the music and smiles on their faces as they were eating delicious popcorn. And as for the kids, ooh, man, this is nostalgia for you right here, boy. But think about it. That was 20 years ago. 20 years ago! Today's episode, we are going to discuss the impact that this great cinematic achievement has put on the universe. Darn it, Alien, you had one job, and you messed up the lighting. Oh, I'm sorry, why'd you even sign me up for this child labor or whatever? Ugh! Just, just, just start the credits! Introduce the wonderful cast. First of all, you have the hero, the legend, the Woody. Yeah, come out, Woody. Hello, everybody. Yeah, woo. <laughs> yeah, it's me. The courageous one, the spaceman, Buzz Lightyear. Woo. Yeah. Shut up already, alright? I know I'm mean, okay? But shut up! Don't tell my lovely fans like that! The loyal one! The stretchy one! Man's best friend! Slinky Dog! Wow! Kelly! Bob! Howdy everybody! How you doing today? Yahoo! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! Well, I see that lovely French poodle in the third row! Hey, uh... Well, what about us? Frickin' prune face, we matter too! Come on, Rex! Hey, um, don't get the shark angry! Don't you see all those layers of teeth? What about your layers of teeth, huh? Oh. Rocky's gonna pound you! Our objective is to shoot the shark out of him disrespecting the U.S. Army. So, how do you guys feel that you're turning 20, you old fart? Hey, who are you calling an old fart? You don't know that sharks have been around since dinosaur times. Hey, hey, audience, when he takes a poop, he even sounds like a dinosaur. Oh boy, this shark's bathroom habits. You would laugh. Finally get my own talk show and you embarrass me in front of live TV. I guess I'm just going ham tonight, if you get what I mean. Now, I want each of you to express your true feelings about this subject. Now, now, the first thing to talk about is friendship. Because the hatred between me and Woody in the movie, that was what was actually happening on the movie set as well. Man, I gotta tell you, it was not good. We actually, you know that scene where we fight? That was actually real. That was not staged at all. But, you know, we had to be nice to each other for the money. No, I'm just kidding. I found out good old Woodster here was genuine at heart. So, we became best friends, both on screen and off screen. Now, at the time of this movie, I don't think any of us knew how much of a great success it would have been. It's just quite incredible what has happened through these 20 years. People recognize us, we're adored, we're loved, we're... we've become a part of pop culture appearing in sometimes different movies, being referenced, getting, um, parodied. And the reason why is because we're iconic. We didn't know that this was going to be called a, a cinematic super masterpiece someday. We thought we were just making an average movie, and boy, oh boy, what a shock it was. 
Now, I have learned that Toy Story was the first fully computer-generated animated movie, so it was different. Do you think that's what appealed crowds to it? Well, I mean, there's so many children in the world, and children always want to be, wanted to be bewildered and excited and happy. So, maybe just the fact that it was a kid's film got them going. And while filming, I just thought, we're making this movie for the kids. And for the money. So, RC, tell me your thoughts on the movie. to share his feelings about this wonderful event. Shall we put him on the show? Yeah, go ahead. You have been granted access, Pixar Kid. Tell us about your history with Pixar. As you can see, the obsession with Pixar and Toy Story dates back to 2005 when I was three. There was a group photo with my toys, and as you can see, I'm holding Woody in my arms. Now, I'm not the kind of person to go out and cosplay, but... As you can see right here, I'm dressed up as Woody. Here's what I used to look like when I was younger. There's my little joy face with my Woody doll right there. Now, I am just bewildered and overall filled with excitement about the movies these people make. They're so colorful and joyful and they're just beautiful movies with great messages. If it wasn't for Pixar existing, I really don't know what topic of this YouTube channel would be. So I am grateful that within my childhood, Pixar lies within there. Well, thank you for the great childhood memories, Pixar, and I love you. <laughs> Making me cosplay. Congrats on the 20 years, Toy Story, and live many more. It's people like that that make the job worthwhile. I have received a message from Woody ONCP. Alright, Hey guys, go. it's Woody here, or Will, from Woody on CP. And you might be wondering why I say that I'm Woody. Well, it goes a long time back. Well, when I did Club Penguin, uh, my username was Woody36821 because I loved Toy Story because I just saw Toy Story 3 in June of 2010. Ever since then, I was in avid collector of Toy Story toys. It's crazy. I mean, I love Toy Story so much. And uh, I, I liked it before that, but that's when I really started getting into it. And uh, I was really in my prime of liking it uh, a few years back. But I can't believe that it's turning 20. I mean, wow, that's insane. This is actually my first Woody doll I ever had, and this is what I consider my real Woody. I have this one too, but still, you know, gotta go with the classics. But anyway, I just wanted to wish you guys all, all you Toy Story fans, a happy 20 years of Toy Story. I'm gonna take some calls right now. Alright, here's our first one. You're right up, sir. Tell us your expression. First of all, I just want to say congratulations on the 20 years. So one time I was going into Target. And I was looking through the Toy Story toy aisle, and I saw these two children next to me looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. They looked at me very shockingly, and they told me, No offense, but isn't Toy Story a baby thing? Without the technological advances Toy Story gave the world, your precious CGI Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon show would not exist. Speaking of technological advances, hey, all right then, I'm the go-to guy for these kind of facts. Now, as a fact, Snow White, the Disney flick classic, it put animated movies on the map. But then Toy Story came, Toy Story, the first fully computer-generated animated film. 
was a children's film, which is incredible because CGI was always used for action shots, whether they look terrible or great. Toy Story also really did have a new look and feel, and it took cinema to a new dimension. These visuals were just considered mind-boggling and mind-exploding at the time, because nobody had ever really seen something quite like Toy Story. It was a success with the kids and also with the adults, because these adults could really relate to the characters since they were adults themselves. Some might say it even broke the mold of normal children's films at the time. It's gotten a Special Achievement Academy Award, a PGA Special Award of Merit, and an Annie Award for Best Individual Achievement. And it also ranks in at a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Toy Story would go on to inspire a whole new generation of films making them increase in quality and animation style. It really did help design what a children's film should be like, and it took the imagination levels to infinity and beyond. This is great and all, but how exactly do you wrap up 20 years? 20 years of friendship, that is. Introducing for the first time in America, Zing Sling! When did we agree on that name? You can thank me later. That's not the correct song. What? Wrong key? Come on, you dingle birds. You know what song you're supposed to be singing to celebrate this 20th anniversary. Go ahead, Potato Head, sing it. You know I'm not the kind of guy that sings. Sing it. Show us your sentimental. Together we can see it through Cause you got a friend in me You got a friend in me Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am Big and stronger too Maybe But none of them will ever love you The way I do is just me and you, boy and as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's our destiny. Oh, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. That's right. You. If you subscribe. How easy you surely does just kill the mood. I just want to be a part of things. But overall, Toy Story is just a great film about the moral of friendship. Thank you for these great 20 years. 
And also, another moral is that uh, please do not torture your toys because if you do that kind of stuff, you got problems. And also, Woody, tell them. We toys can see everything. Play nice. Thank you all for 20 years. Keep the Toy Story spirit going and growing, inserting us into the lives of new generations of children. Thank you, John Lasseter, Joe Raft, Leon Critchran, Newman, and everybody who worked on this film. But most importantly, thank you, the fans. You've, You've got, got a, got a friend, friend in, in me. me. Indeed. To infinity and beyond, pals. Thanks for watching and congratulations, Pixar. 20 years of Toy Story, 20 years of friendship, 20 years of magic. Goodbye.